Hi and welcome to this video. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. In our last video, I showed you how to install Windows Vista on a Sun Virtual uh, box. Now, once you've got that installed, like so, you might want to actually share files from this main operating system to the virtual box because obviously it's a, it's a virtual box. And you need to, if you want to have files on there, you're going to have to have map a network drive to that actual virtual box so you can actually share files. The first thing you're going to need to do is come into settings. Now if you look into settings, click on the actual operating system you want to change the settings for, like so, and then come down to shared folders. Now once you've done that you need to look at the, um, there'll be nothing in here. So basically you need to click on this little plus sign, uh, plus with a folder. This will actually add a path. So you need to then go other, and then you need to create obviously a folder where you want to share. So for argument's sake, this is my shared folder on drive G. Okay, so I've named my one vir uh, Vista Virtual Apps. Okay, so what you need to do is make a folder and call it whatever you like. Yeah, so this is my folder that I'm doing. You do which one you want to do. Look for Vista Virtual Apps down here, and it will be in the G drive. Mine is, and it's as you can see, it's there. I'm going to click OK, and then you click OK again, and this is what um, you'll see. Basically, that's the path. Now, once you've done that, that's all set. Click OK again, so you can come out of there, and then you need to boot up your Vista operating system. Once you start booting that up, well then map a network drive to that folder so we can actually drop files in that folder. So anything you dro drop inside there, you will actually see on the virtual machine which then you can actually install on the virtual machine. Okay, so now you're up on the desktop, all you need to do is right click on my computer and go map network drive, like so. And then select the actual one you want. I've used Y here by the looks of it, as you can see. And then all you need to do is in this part here, you're going to, so you won't see this bit at the top. So say for instance, you're using V, you'd need to obviously an actual letter that isn't already in use and then you need to type say for argument's sake um, I think it's called uh, VBOX SVR so you would have to put backslash backslash VBOX SVR and then one backslash and then the actual name of the folder so for argument's sake mine was Vista Virtual Apps that was the name of my folder so that's the look you need to do so you need this part here and then whatever the name of your folder is so if yours was called I don't know uh, programs you'd have to put programs in and whatnot and point to it okay you can actually point to that and then click finished and that will actually find that folder and connect to it once it's connected that's it you're done you just click on my computer and then you will see, as you can see, an actual drive that's connected to that um, folder. Now, any f any time you want to put folders, uh, files in the actual virtual drive, you just drop them in that folder. So, for argument's sake, I'll go to my drive here, and this is where I want to put one. So, I'm just going to stick in, say, um, I'm going to stick something in here. We'll call it test. And then we'll stick something inside there, maybe a Word document or something like that, and then just name it. Oh, it would help if I actually uh, put there, like so. And then basically, once you go, once you've created that, you go to your my computer, then go to your virtual drive, uh, map drive there and then go to the folder called test and then you can see your file that you want and then you can actually drag 
that onto the actual desktop of your virtual machine and then actually use it. That's how you get files onto a virtual machine by a map, mapped network drive. Hope this has been some use for you. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. Please leave your comments if you've got any. If you've got any questions, please email me or leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer it. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. If you've got any requests for videos that you'd like me to make, send me an email and I'll do my best to make one. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.